All right, how's it going, guys? So, uh, I got an interview at a, a job, so I've been a little bit distracted, a little bit busy, so sorry, no video last week, but read it now. Can't climb stairs. Yeah, you know, let me guess. Oh yeah, he just climbs those stairs right there. Yeah, I mean, it's just a thing they wanted to joke about. They didn't really like think about it that thoroughly because basically they just wanted to be like, oh no, he can't climb the stairs, so you need to go do an objective. And I think it was mainly just to show off what an objective like that style would be. But yeah, in Borderlands 1, he's been able to climb stairs. The pre-sequel, you've been able to climb stairs. Probably in 3, I bet, even though they probably made the joke again. But yeah, you can totally climb stairs. They just thought it'd be really funny if they just said, Oh no, he can't. You gotta figure it out for him. I don't know why. Everything reminds me of him. God, I miss Steve. You can still hear his voice calling out. Saying the words. Gentlemen, it is with great pleasure to tell you that I have 1,000 hours in Borderlands 2. Nice. I'm glad you haven't wasted as many hours as I have. Alright, let's see here. How much time have I wasted on Borderlands up until this point? 4,698 hours. I want to hit 5k so that I can do stupid stuff. I don't know what I would do, but I'm thinking something like making a video of like, oh, this is what 5,000 hours of experience looks like, and then just doing absolute dog at the game. But like really just trying to sell, like, look at my hours. It's so cool. It's so good. And I don't know how it would work out, but I just wanted to like seem like I'm trying to flex really, really hard and then just do the worst I possibly can. My signed fan art. Ooh. Yo, this is really, really cool. I like this. Hold on. Let's see uh, what the other one is. Oh, dude, these are sick. Wow. Dude, I really, really like these. Nice. This is cool. POV, you see another person flexing a rare drop while using BL2 fix. Yeah, this is a really common issue that we have. Uh, basically, people will install mods that have a slight increase to drop rate or a substantial one at OP10 because BL2 fix does have a substantial increase there. And they'll just be like, dude, this is so cool. Look at my items. They're so sick. But like, what you got to understand is you devalue items by doing that. And it is really nice. And I really love having items so that I can build characters with them. But if you're using something that makes it super duper easy to get them, it's no longer as cool. So bragging that you found them isn't as good of a thing anymore. So yeah, you just end up being really spammy and annoying and probably shouldn't do that. Doll grenade made in blender. This looks incredible. I really like this. This is really cool. The floor detail is so weird to me, but like, look at how good this is. Hold on, how much can I get in here? God, this is so nice. I really, really like this. This is super duper cool to me. Nice. Savage Elite Space Program? Ah, I mean, we gotta have at least one every single time, right? Yep. Let me guess, jumps into somebody and away he goes. Yeah. I, I still don't know why they made it work like this, but it works like this. But yeah. Obligatory flying enemy post. Savage Legions dropped this. Does it have good parts? Alright, well, let's see. Got Torg, uh, Deepa, Shock. These are all very good for the Herald. I like this site. That's probably my second favorite site for a Herald right next to just like the holographic site. Or like the, the little Molly One reticle thing. So yeah, this is really good. This is a really good drop. It's uh, it's shock because of course that's definitely better for it. And this is good. Krieg Buzzax chucking question. Okay, uh, I saw this earlier today. And basically the preface is this person is asking like, hey, if I'm Krieg and I use the shadow relic, which gives you an extra shot chance, basically like double shot or two fang, will it throw an extra Buzzax? And I had somebody tested for me, which thank you by the way, and it does not. So yeah, if you have the Shadow Relic here and your Krieg, it will not apply to throwing buzz axes. We checked it, we made sure it didn't work that way, and yeah, that's just how it is. It doesn't do anything. 
I got maybe 20 gun accuracy rolls in the last 90 ish of BA ranks. Okay. I've seen this post too. So basically, this person is complaining that they have acquired fake stats and then they tried to roll them and they all rolled into accuracy. I don't understand why. Like, I don't understand the thought process of some people where they have a really cursed or like just cheated in, obviously cheated in thing. And they'll be like, oh no, it went poorly. Because nobody likes it. <laughs> Not many people on this subreddit are gonna be like, oh man, your fake stuff isn't working out. That really sucks. So like, I don't understand why people really do stuff like this in the first place. It's just really, really weird to me. New player here. How the heck did I dissolve to them like that? Oh, zero. Boar. Uh, yeah, no, this is just a zero bore post. I don't even need this to load. I'm gonna wait just in case it's not that somehow But it, this is definitely just bore isn't it? Let's turn it up for that sweet bore noise I'm ready Yeah, there it is. Yep, that's just bore basically bunker has a bunch of overlapping hitboxes Bore is a skill that whenever it goes through a hitbox it gains bonus damage so it's constantly chaining itself between those two hitboxes technically, and so it just ramps up and peaks its damage that way. And technically there's no cap on how much damage it can scale to, but realistically you're not going to get more than like a couple billion from it. And that's still obviously enough to kill everything. So like, yeah, this just bore. Playing Axton feels like hacking sometimes. Oh, just from that reload speed? Yeah, the reload speed's really, really gross, but also you have to drop your health bar down to, like, one. Which, like, it's really cool, and it's really effective for, like, TD or speed kills. But, if you were in actual combat with, like, mobs and, like, constant damage happening, this would kill you, obviously. But, for the situation of doing fast reloads for DPSing, like, a raid boss down, it's really, really cool. Yeah, I agree. Playing Hyperion only Axton is hard. Alright, let me see this picture. What's your explanation? So, we've got a Corrosive Singularity, we've got a B-Shield, we've got a Development, a Heartbreaker, Random, SMG, and then the Bane. We've got the Rare Loot Relic still, and then this is probably the Hyperion Accuracy thing. But, I can't tell if they're like being genuine about this or not, because to me, like, obviously, if you're playing Hyperion on the Axton, you get the B-Shield, the Lady Fist, the Fibber, and, like, that's pretty much all you really need from that point. And then you can just constantly deal damage. You don't have a class mod that's great, but you have a Fibber and a B-Shield and a Lady Fist, and you can also get, like, a Quasar or some other Singularity to just pull things off ledges, to pull them into each other so that you can Fibber them better. And it's just really, really strong. I don't see the issue, besides, like, not having a second wind weapon from, like, Rocket Launcher or something like that. But that's about it. That's the only issue I see. Drunk jumping with the Logan's gun is pretty effective. Oh yeah. I mean, it won't do you as well as, like, just getting a, a bada boom, of course, you know. But that's honestly really hard to compete with. I feel like that was a little bit of two-fang, right? Alright, show me what you're gonna do. Are you gonna get above the boundary with this? If you do, I'm getting a Logan's gun tomorrow, and I'm, I'm doing this forever. You can't tell me this will get you over the wall. There's just no way. That wall is not that short. There's no way. I have to try this now. Well. I wasn't able to replicate it for myself, but I can definitely see how this might actually be pretty possible and pretty doable. Uh, I just don't, I, I like, I, I just don't have the items for it myself, and I've also noticed that it's kind of RNG because you know you gotta hope that you get three grog procs, and then you have to hope that they all just kind of like line up in the middle. So this might actually be like really, really doable, but. I just don't have the right equipment for it, necessarily. It's still really, really cool, though. Alright, we are towards the bottom here already. So, guys, 
Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, more videos, hopefully soon. Uh, I'm probably going to be employed very soon though, so uh, that might also put a hindrance on me a little bit. So might stay about even. Uh, hopefully I'll try to make sure that Saturday uploads keep coming, but for the rest of the week, I don't know as of yet. I have a bunch of ideas written down, but they're all things that I don't even know how to do because they require me to learn how to edit things properly, and I don't know how to do that at all. So that might take some time, but thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. If you have any ideas, leave a comment. If you like the video, please leave a like, and if you could subscribe, I'd appreciate it. If you've been hanging out, maybe just watching a couple back-to-back. It'd be cool. Thank you for hanging out. See you later.